Hi, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I am sorry I haven't posted a recipe in a while, but I have actually been down with the flu. It took me quite a while to recover, and then since then I've had some other things going on. So I really do apologize for that. I planned on getting a lot of books read for the kids. I planned on reading a Christmas story for the adults and then doing some recipes and I just didn't get it done because I've just been so busy. So um, we're gonna get started tonight though. And remember to please like and share. It really helps me out when you do that. So please like and share. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also remember about the contest. Every time you share this, you get entered into the uh, drawing for a, a $25 gift certificate to Amazon once I, once I reach 100 subscribers. And if you have never subscribed, and you, but when you share, make sure you uh, comment shared, all right? And then if you have never subscribed, please subscribe and then comment subscribe. Uh, so I can get you entered in and you get uh, your name put in five times for that one. All right, so we're going to get started with uh, with the cinnamon, I'm sorry, I'm saying it all wrong, a chocolate cinnamon pecan bread, all right? Um, I need to get something out of the microwave, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so the, and I'll bring you closer so you can see, I almost forgot about that. Get you down here to where you can see into the mixer. There you go. I'm sorry, it's a little bit dark in here. I'm going to try to lighten it up some, though. Well, this thing is wanting to be wonky. All right, there you go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix our dry ingredients. And I guess if I plug this in, it might work. You ever do things like that? Forget to turn something on, forget to plug something in. Oh, I'm always bad about that. But that's okay. All right, so. Well, I'm going to get this flour in here. I'm just going to go ahead and put them all, dump all the dry ingredients in, and then I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so this right here is two cups of self-rising flour. two cups self-rising flour. Next, we have three cups of sugar. Get every bit of that. Then we have one cup of cocoa. Uh, my preference is Hershey's. No, I'm not getting paid to say that. That's just my preference. On my flour, when it comes to making cakes and breads, um, you know, with anything, you can use any brand. Just sometimes we have preferences. My preference for making breads is Martha White. Now, do I always use Martha White? No, sometimes I don't because I can't afford it. Um, next is one tablespoon of cinnamon. You can get a little bit more in there. It doesn't hurt anything. If you're like me and you love cinnamon. All right. Now, when it comes to cinnamon, the brand doesn't matter, but I like the Saigon cinnamon. It has a much more, um, has more of a depth of flavor is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so if you've never tried it, try it. It costs maybe a little bit more money than regular cinnamon does. Um, you can get a big bottle of it at Sam's if you're a Sam's Club member. If not, I'm going to take this bracelet off. Okay, now we're going to mix all of those in real well. Is 
think there's some hard lump sugar pieces in there I didn't see. All right, that looks good. All right, next we're going to uh, mix in two sticks of butter or one cup of butter and you want them at room temperature. Mine, they're not quite room temperature, but they'll suffice for tonight. I think I'm going to get a knife and try to chop them up just a little bit. Make it just a little bit easier to mix. Now you could you know, like, do like you do cookies and cream your butter and all of that together, but that's not the way I'm doing it. I kind of always had a little bit of a rebel heart and always kind of do things my own way. And I'm going to go ahead and add in one cup of milk and four eggs. Now, if you have small eggs, you may want to do five. This will make two loaves, you know, like just the regular loaf, loaf cans, not the large ones. The regular. I need a paper towel. And one teaspoon of vanilla. And my preference on vanilla, not a brand name, but it's the Mexican vanilla. Okay, start that off slow. I put my hands here to shield it a little. To that, I'm going to add just about a quarter cup of water. Oh, that's washing out on me. And it will be a moist spread. Now I'm going to put in a cup of chopped pecans. And you can do walnuts or you can make it without any nuts at all. Okay, you don't want to over mix it. Just want to get mixed well. All right, now I'm going to move you back some. Get these dishes out of your way. Then I have the two loaf pans here. Uh, I think you can see that. And I put some parchment paper in them with the kind of handles over a little so you can lift it out easier. And what I did is also I sprayed the pan. Um, I got the areas that are not covered by the parchment. And you could make your parchment fit all the way around if you want. Or if you want, you can just use, just spray your pan real good and not use the parchment. There's some little chunks of butter didn't mix up real good, but they'll mix up in the mix. Okay. get down there. Sometimes these mixers don't get down to the very bottom. All right. Okay, then we're going to just distribute this evenly. Sorry for all that clanging.
and you'll have to kind of pour your parchment paper over some too. The weight of this is gonna pull it down some. Well, this may make more than the two. Or it may be just right. You don't want your pans really filled more than two thirds of the way full. Or it will overflow for sure. All right, let me get some of that out of there. And then have a little bit more here to scrape out that will go into this one. Well, no, that one looks pretty full, I think. Let's see if I can get just a little bit more in here. It's only probably about another spoonful in here. All right. Now, I'm going to put these in a 350-degree oven, and I will bring you back when it's finished. I forgot to tell you that it needs to cook for about 45 to 50 minutes. Uh, you do it like you do cake, you know, put the toothpick in and see that comes out clean. All right, I'll be back when it's done. Okay, I'm back and this is the bread when it comes out of the oven. Let me move you down. Let you see what it looks like. Can you see that? I can turn that around. You can see that better. All right. Now, what you want to do is you want to let it sit there for about 10 or 15 minutes before you lift the parchment paper and lift it up out of the pan or you turn it out of the pan, and then you'll want to put it on your cooling rack and let it finish cooling. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get another video on before Christmas, but if I don't, then you have a very uh, nice Christmas. Um, I have children coming in, so we'll have a good Christmas. Um, I'm praying that <clears throat> we won't have any bad weather, any snow or ice from whichever directions they're coming or even here where I live. So I'm praying that steadily. Well, listen, uh, Again, make sure to like and share, all right? And I will see y'all later. Bye-bye. Uh,